Hey guys, welcome back. We are officially in a bear market. Just like I have countlessly warned in my previous videos. However, I myself was caught off guard too. In theory, I know it's gonna happen, but I decided not to time the market because I believe Tesla will grow faster than this huge drawdown. However, I'm expecting the cost of manufacturing to go up for Tesla because we have entered a multipolar world, a world that is increasingly fragmented with regional dominant power. In a scenario like this, commodity prices will spike up profit margin of producing a Tesla car will be affected. Tesla's revenue right now is still heavily dependent on hardware manufacturing. In a recession, companies will not hire aggressively. People are not as willing to spend. People reduce consumption. Since an individual's consumption is another person's bread and butter, the next person will have lesser to spend and consume, and this will have a downward spiral. Interest rates increase, amount of credit in the world reduces. Debt is the main form of money, hence money tightens, money becomes more valuable. Funds will have to be very selective, of the right company with the strong balance sheet, strong future growth and strong cash flow. And to me, that is Tesla. Now Tesla was holding up well until some FUD from media hit. Now let's try to understand the media. The media gets their funding from advertisers and sometimes in certain countries, the state funds the media. And let's see it through the lens of Tesla. Tesla does not spend much on marketing and media or the rest of the big oil and automotive companies all have a budget to advertise through media. The goal of media is to attract as much attention as possible. The more eyeballs they attract, the more money they earn. So do you guys see the problem with media? Their goal is not to report accurate data or news. Sometimes they have their state propaganda or advertisers agenda. They report shit that is not true or otherwise exaggerated. And since Tesla doesn't pay the media, they have no incentive to protect Tesla. Hence, fear, doubt and uncertainty is common with Tesla. I just want to explain to you guys why Tesla crashed. There is macro weakness, sentiments are in extreme fear, raw material costs have skyrocketed, then there is recession and FUD from the media. Okay, now that I did a summary explaining the crash, how do I feel about the market going forward? I think this crash is going to last us a year or two. This time it is different. The whole type has changed. When COVID came, we lower interest rates to near zero and we have QE. We print a whole ton of money to increase money velocity and this results in a V-shaped recovery. They printed so much money and now they have to reduce their balance sheet and we are now on QT. Interest rates are going to rise to fight inflation. The tide has changed. It is time to adapt. It is going to be a slow and dreadful recovery. So what am I going to do in this bear market? If we know what is the fundamental reason behind all this and have an idea how it will play out, we can turn this crisis into opportunity. So in my previous video, I talked about maybe buying a long dated call option, aka a leap. But after sitting down and thinking for a while, I realized now it's not a time yet. This market drawdown will most likely be long and painful because Fed is tightening money. So for now, what we can do is to understand that cash is king for the next one to two years. And then we revolve our strategy around this fundamental basic truth. If cash is king, cash is more important. So you have to slow down dollar cost average because it's not going to be a V-shaped recovery. And since it is not going to be a V-shaped recovery, I will continue hedging my Tesla position and that means selling call option on Tesla to fund premiums. I will do it especially when there is a bear market rally. I don't think this market is going up anytime soon. The third thing I'm going to do and this is my personal opinion. I was asking myself if I can still use leverage in this kind of environment and I asked myself what is a safer way to use leverage. So say for example, I'm still long Tesla stocks and the market is trending down. So I asked myself, why not I go short on companies that are weak or maybe even short Tesla and if I'm wrong, at most I lose the upside. It doesn't feel dangerous to use leverage to short in this environment. So I have tried this last week and I will sit down and think deeper about this. Maybe I'll come up with a more structured plan and I'll share it with you guys. Now the last thing is, this is the time for most people to do nothing. It is honestly quite annoying for me also. Because I'm someone that must be preoccupied with something. I went around to look at properties overseas to do Airbnb. Only to realize that money is tightening faster than I expected. There are so many ideas in my head but I cannot execute them right now. So what you can do now is to take the time to learn. Equip yourself with knowledge and high income skill. So long as we contribute more than we consume, we will pull through this recession together. If you are cash rich in 2022 in your 20s, I will say this is the time for you to make life changing money. I made mine 2 years ago in 2020 COVID and this time round my cash is stuck. It is your turn to become rich. Slowly dollar cost average your way into a strong company, for example, Tesla. If you are a long term Tesla investor, turn this crisis into an opportunity. Think of it as being able to load up more shares at a discount, having more time to buy more Tesla shares. Okay guys, if you enjoy my sharing, do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you and I'll see you next week.